When then opposition leader Hakainde Hichilema won the presidential election in Zambia in 2021, many thought it was the beginning of a new dawn for the Southern African country. Two years later, what began as a fervent push for international re-engagement and robust economic revival has just been diluted by a sudden shift towards dictatorship. A public warning over a coup plot, alleged persecution of political opponents, panic over neighboring Zimbabwe, and the alleged harassment of former President Edgar Lungu have all failed to both the building up of a dictatorship and a déjà vu moment in Zambia under the man widely referred to as simply HH. Addressing a rally in Kanyama, a densely populated slum in the capital Lusaka, Hichilema sounded a clear warning to alleged plotters of a coup d'etat against his government. Law and order is here now. Yeah. Two years of UPND in office. Yeah. Law and order. Yeah. But there are some who do not believe that Vanacho Kamugoma, Bagari Ufunandeo, will come for you. Yeah. We will come for you heavily. Nanduka yeah. Mbavama military kuzi kuno ni democracy ufuna military coup ni ya uko uleta za military coup will come for you because when there's a military background or situation you can't gather like this this is in foot nikumanya wa nikupaiwa we want our peace in this country when you break the law there is no vacuity in the politician here La mulo sizi wa politician. Tifu na bantuba zizi endele mamene bafu na. If many had thought that this was just a comment in passing, the president repeating the same statement on social media the very night could have given them clues that this was a serious matter. In his statement during the rally in the afternoon, the president had warned soldiers and also members of the public on want a coup would get Zambia into. Although he still enjoys a lot of love from fellow Africans outside Zambia, within his country, President Hichilema has begun to make a number of enemies. A number of opposition political parties have already sounded warnings that under his watch, Zambia is drifting back to a, an atmosphere of dictatorship and intolerance for opposing views. One of those who have already sounded warnings around Hichilema's shift towards dictatorship is Sishua Sishua, a Zambian writer, historian, and senior lecturer at Stellenbosch University. Writing for South Africa's Weekly Mail and Guardian, Sishua Sishua already pointed out some telltale signs of dictatorship in Hichilema's government. Among them, Sishua mentioned that over the past 30 days alone, three Zambian opposition leaders Edith Nawakwi of the Forum for Democracy and Development, Sean Tembo of the Patriots for Economic Progress, and Fred Mwembe of the Socialist Party have all been separately arrested on what appear to be political charges. Sishua continues that police have arrested within the last month alone former President Lungu's wife, Esther, for theft of motor vehicle in a move criticized by the main opposition Patriotic Front as aimed at indirectly punishing Lungu. As they had done with Sean Tembo, the police kept the former first lady in detention longer than was necessary despite meeting bond conditions. On August 8, the Inspector General of Zambian Police, Rafael Musamba, held a politically charged press conference in which he declared that socialism would not succeed in Zambia and vote to crush the Socialist Party, accusing it of painting for violence because they want to cut corners to reach their destiny. Monsamba further claimed that Mwembe, who has seemingly cultivated close political ties with Russia and China, had used social media to comment on emerging unters in West Africa. He said Mwembe was thinking that the same can be extended to Zambia. He said, and I quote, we carefully studying the ingredients of the offense and we will let you know in due course what his fate is going to be, close quote. Just a few days ago, on September 9, a battalion of police officers in full riot gear dispersed an interdenominational church service on the copper belt at which 
former president Lungu was invited. The pastor who organized the church meeting was arrested and charged with conduct likely to cause breach of public peace. Police sealed off the worship but had earlier attempted to block Lungu from traveling for the religious event. On September 7, the government had declined Lungu's request to travel abroad for medical review, which is a clear violation of his legal entitlements as a retired former president. Lungu, who has also been accused of trying to plot with Zimbabweans for the ouster of Hichilema, was this week again denied travel to South Africa, where he has made appointments with his doctors for a medical review. Also to show the paranoia around the Zambian president, members of his party last week demonstrated against what they perceived was an attempt to assassinate their president by members of Zimbabwe's ruling ZANU-PF party. Because of the threats which were coming from one Patrick Chinamasa from Zimbabwe and Rutando over the threats that they managed to kill the former late president, the late president Patrick Imanawasa. I was thinking it was a lie, so I went to the social media to try and check if this People truly said they killed President Mwanawasa and now they are going for President Akainde Ichirima. And for sure, I found that on the social media. That's why I also agreed to come so that you bring these petitions. I have received the petition to do with the threat of, on the life of President Akainde Ichirima. I have also read that Patrick Chinamasa and Mutando have agreed themselves that they participated in killing President Manawasa. Shame. 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 So your petition you have instructed me because I come from the party, from UPND also. For me, before I became minister, I must be I came from UPN, you sponsored me. Yes. Yeah. You have asked me to take the petition to the Minister of Foreign Affairs. So that the Minister of Foreign Affairs can take it to SADIC, AU, and the UN. That's what you have said. Yeah. I want to promise you one thing. Yeah. I will do exactly what you have yeah. asked me to do. I will first take the petition to the Foreign Affairs Minister so that they can use the diplomat diplomatic channels to take this issue to study, to AU, and finally to UN. Because if someone agrees that they killed the president of another country, now they are planning to kill the one who is a sitting president. We cannot sit and wait until another one yes. to cry. Oh. You have asked me to, for you and or static or AU to find out what method and means are they planning to, to use to kill President Akainde Ichirema. Yes. But let me tell you this, my brother. Before you take a step Number one step to touch President Akainde Ichilema will come for you. We will come for you. We used to tell you that running a country is not a joke. Sima Sobera here. Uka kuta chimbala, timfuto kala president. Chakuko la chimbala. Wakole wa chimbala. One Zambia, one nation, one people. All these have been pointed out to be telltale signs of a full-fledged dictatorship revisiting Zambia again. Mkholi Sinobe, AVG News, Johannesburg.